I've got a couple of uh, TPMS tools here to trigger a tire pressure sensor, get it to transmit its data to the tire pressure monitor system computer in the car to do the relearn procedure or program the sensor into the TPMS uh, memory. Um, these are both uh, exactly the same uh, tool, they're just labeled differently. Uh, red one's a KTI PST and this is, uh, it's used, this is a, a brand new uh, tips tool and uh, you can see it's still got a tag on it and you can register it with the company and it's a brand new tool. Um, this U-shaped uh, area on the bottom is a strong magnet so you can trigger C5 sensors or any others that might require a magnet to trigger them uh, but uh, most all the sensors in the C6's uh, require a, a radio transmission from the uh, antenna of the tool to uh, trigger the sensor to get it to send out its data to the TPMS computer in the car so it uh, its data can be logged into the memory. Uh, this is a uh, 2010 or newer uh, tire pressure sensor. Um, 2005 to 2009 had different TPMS uh, that uh, has a sensor that looks exactly like this except for it's gray in color. And in 2010 they changed the TPMS in the car uh, and it requires this different sensor. Actually in the middle of the 2011 model year they changed to a black sensor but the TPMS computer is the same and any 2010 or newer car will use or this uh, use either this green one or the newer black one. Interesting thing about the green one is you can trigger it, you don't need a, a tool to trigger it, you can trigger it with a uh, change in air pressure in the tire. And um, I've got another video showing how to use a TIPS tool to do the entire relearn procedure which only takes about a minute uh, to program the, all four sensors into the TPMS computer in the car. I just wanted to show uh, today real quickly how to do a uh, diagnostic check of a sensor. Make sure it's a good sensor, the battery in it's working and, and the sensor's transmitting. The um, lower end tools, there's some uh, cheaper ones available. Uh, they just simply trigger the sensor, get it to send out its data, and um, if you aren't doing a relearn procedure, you, you can't really do any diagnostics. If you're doing a relearn procedure, if it does uh, program into the TPMS, you get a honk of the horn, then you know it worked. Otherwise, you just don't know if it, if it worked properly or not. Um, let me go ahead and uh, trigger this sensor here uh, to show you that these a uh, uh, little bit higher end tools can do some diagnostic checks. There's a receiver in the tool that picks up the transmission, uh, the signal transmitted by the sensor, um, and uh, when it receives that, it uh, uh, flashes a light and uh, and beeps. Uh, let me use this. Uh, this new one's got a sticker on there, which I'm not going to take off. This uh, used KTA PST one. Uh, you can see there's a 315 and a 434 megahertz light. Uh, all our U.S. sensors will uh, transmit to the TPMS computer on 315 megahertz. Let me go ahead and uh, trigger this sensor. Uh, first of all. Um, this tool will uh, trigger virtually all sensors. Um, it, uh, a lot of sensors require a, sort of a Morse code pulse transmission. Our sensors require a steady continuous wave transmission. I'm going to push this selection button until all four lights are illuminated and that will force the tool to uh, transmit a continuous wave. It can uh, do a hunt or a search for the type, uh, right type protocol to talk to the sensor to trigger it, but that can take up to a couple minutes. Uh, so I've got it in continuous wave mode, so it should trigger this sensor almost immediately. I'm holding it uh, close to the sensor, and yep, you can see already that the uh, light was, uh, 315 light was beeping. Let me do that again for you. Um, it's uh, searching around. And there it triggered the sensor. The sensor sent out a signal and uh, the 315 light illuminated, indicating the tool received that signal that was transmitted by the uh, sensor. That's a 2010 sensor, or uh, 2010 or newer. Uh, I've got my 2009 C6 here, the 2005 to 2009, used that uh, same peanut shaped sensor but a, a gray color and its uh, data stream's a little different. And, uh, and it'll only work on a 2005-2009. Let me go ahead and trigger this sensor um, with this other tool. 
you can see I'm putting the uh, sensor on the, or the antenna, the, the tool on the uh, rubber sidewall. Let me do that once again. If I can find the activate button. Okay, actually a 315 light was uh, blinking underneath that uh, that piece of tab uh, on the new tool here, which I'm not going to remove. And so uh, you can see how the tool works to uh, trigger 2005-2009 sensor or a 2010 and newer sensor on any C6. Um, red one's used, green one's brand new. Uh, they do good diagnostics. We know that uh, this sensor's good and we know that the one in my tire is good. Don't have to put the car in a learn mode, don't have to do anything but walk up to any C6 or any car for that matter has sensors in it pretty much and, and you can do a diagnostic check uh, with the tool. TIPS tool, T-I-P-S, tire inflation positioning uh, switch tool or the K-T-I-P-S-T. Uh,